you want to stand out in life or in business, here's an exercise I've got for you. I'm going to throw out some brand names that you probably use every day. And I want you to think of the first thing that comes to your mind when I say these brands. Now trust the process, it's all going to make sense before this video ends. Let's start. Coca-Cola, Pepsi and Red Bull. Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. Apple, Samsung and Hawaii. Viber, WhatsApp and Telegram. Let me tell you what these brands have in common and the categories that I've put them into. They have something in common that the business world calls the rule of three. The rule states that stable competitive markets are usually dominated by three competitors. The market leader, new entrant number one, and new entrant number two. And these three competitors typically control in varying proportions between 70% and 90% of the market. So for example, if we look at the carbonated drinks market, we've got Coca-Cola, we've got Pepsi, we've got Red Bull. If we look at the social media market, we've got Twitter, we've got Instagram, and we've got TikTok. Now let's look at the mobile phones market. We've got Apple, we've got Samsung, and we've got Hawaii. And then let's look at the final one, which is the messaging app market. We've got Viber, we've got WhatsApp, and we've got Telegram. Pay close attention, because if you pay close attention to the way that I've been saying these names, you will see a common trend of the strategies used by the new entrants that earns them a spot to the next market leader. So here's what I mean and how that can relate to you or your business. So typically, the larger a market leader becomes, the less responsive they become to their customers. So the market leader is usually the person who started first. They're the first to start or they're the first to come into that industry. And when they become large, they become less responsive to their customers. So this now opens up space for another person to come inside. And that person will be called new entrant number one. What happens is when new entrant number one comes in, they're usually customer centric. They are focused on their customers. Their main focus will be on the customers because they're trying to fill a gap that the market leader have left. However, if the customer-centric company doesn't learn how to innovate quickly to keep up with the ever-changing customer trends and demands, this opens up space for another person to come in. And that person is called new entrant number two. I want you to look at the keywords in there. They are customer-centric and innovation. Those are the keywords that these brands use to compete. Now let's look at that in practice. Coca-Cola, they came out and they said, we are going to introduce a unique non-alcoholic drink and we're the first to do that. Then Pepsi came right after them saying, your customers are skeptical of your recipe because that was the issue that most people had with, with Coca-Cola. Nobody knew what the recipe was. So Pepsi came in and they started capitalizing on that. But then Red Bull came in after Pepsi and realized that people are now busier than ever. So they just don't want to drink for taste. They want a drink that will also energize them. So they invented that, the energy drink, and everybody started moving into there. However, all of these three brands are still in the market, but they are the rule of three. Now let's move on to another category. Twitter came in first and they're like, we're going to launch a never seen before social media app. Instagram came right after and they saw that customers were tired of seeing their feeds filled with links to blog posts, news articles and all of that. So they created something that will have no distractions. You can put your pictures in there. There wouldn't be all of these things that you have to do. But then TikTok saw a gap in the market. Remember, number three is always innovation. People were dying to unleash their creativity. People wanted to be themselves. They were tired of Instagram's perfectly created feeds. So TikTok came in and they created something new. They created something new and also a system that pushes the videos more quickly because people were complaining about people not seeing their pictures on Instagram or their content. So you notice the trend again. The market leader becomes complacent with customer experience. Number two comes in and becomes customer centric. But then because customers are ever changing, their needs are ever changing. Number three comes in and becomes the innovative one. 
Now, I want you to pay attention and think of brands around you, things that you have used, the music that you listen to, or anything. Now that I've pointed out this rule of three, let me know where else that you have seen this. Let me know in the comments what are the industries you've seen it in, how you have seen this play, or if you've seen this play in real life, even without brands. Let me know what you think in the comments.